class is now open. That's the top hinge to the door. And if you look on that, you're going to see that it's got different nodules on there. You know, one, two, three, four, five. Look really carefully because sometimes there'll be three on the door and two on the door jam. But in our case, if I look on there, I know this second one and this and the, the uh, fourth one, whatever, is going to the door, okay? So those are the two I'm gonna work on. Okay, so I've gotta pull this door off of the door hinges to do this next step. But what I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna tell you real briefly, I'm gonna take this nib, just this, and I'm gonna bend it over towards the door. I'm gonna take this one and bend it over to the door. And then when I put it back up, can you see that if this is bent over about a sixteenth or so, that I'll then be able to push this over further and these other three on the door jam is going to hold this door in place and it's going to move it over that little bit. Okay, that's my next step. Now, I didn't want to do that first because I, because I thought maybe I could move the jam over a little bit because sometimes that works a little bit and then you don't have to do this next step or maybe you don't have any room at all but because we do that's going to be our next step so it's time to remove this door okay I'm kind of limited with my work area but um, I'm going to pop these pins out and it's nice on this particular one that the, the pins aren't tapped all the way in. If they were, I'd have to go in from the bottom and pop it up and sometimes there's a little goodie on the bottom where you can't get something big enough in there and you got to put a little finish nail in there and tap on that or whatever. I don't have to do that. I'm going to just take a screwdriver and I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to take the bottom one off first and I just hang on to it, set it down. And sometimes these are greasy. So you have to be careful with them, especially if you got carpet down. In this case, we just got plywood floor. I, I want to make sure that the door is open just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take the top one off last. Like that. And usually the door will stay up there. Okay, so now I can slide the door over a little bit, hang on to it, and gently pull it off. Like that. Okay, that's your next step. Man, I've got a nagging sore throat, but I'm going to keep with it. Okay, I've got a big crescent wrench here. And <laughs> what I'm going to do, remember, make sure you remember what side's the front of the door, what side's the back of the door. Okay, back, and this was or this is the back. This was on the inside, that was on the outside, okay? And remember, I wanna pull those towards the inside, so I'm gonna push these down. So instead of holding the crescent wrench like that, because I'm not gonna be able to get much of a bite there, I don't think, without hitting the back edge of the door. I'm gonna put it upside down here, and I'm gonna get this as tight as I can, okay? Keep it off of the door. And now, I'm just going to bend down on it a little bit. Now obviously, you want to make sure this is tight. If you got small screws here or something like that, you could wiggle this off, you know what I mean? So just be aware of that. Now I'm looking at that and, and I'm kind of lining that up and I can see that I went down on that a little bit. Now, i got to do this one. Okay, I just do a little bit at a time and decide, is there, is there an exact amount that I want to go? Well, I'm going to do it to where I think is okay, then I'm going to put the door back up there, close it, and see if I have to go any more. You know what I mean? But I've gone, I've gone a little bit. I've got these both lined up now. Let's see here. Those look pretty good. Anything, this one might have to go down just a hair more. Okay. Now, 
just want to use a big crescent wrench there. Try not to goober up these. Okay, now I'm going to put that back up and see what happens.